Hello my flow likings, newcomers, and passerbys, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial video on this nice new game called Atlas. I really enjoy this game, and I really gotta think that you guys should check it out. But to explain what this tutorial video is going to be, it's going to be by about the first five skills that you guys need to invest points in in order to get ahead quickly in this game. Let's roll right into it. Now, if you open up your inventory with the letter I on your keyboard, you're going to find five tabs. One of those tabs are going to be called Skills. You want to click on that tab, and it's going to take you to your, your skills, where you'll be able to invest all your points. As you can see, I've already invested a bunch of points in a bunch of stuff. But right now, I'm going to tell you guys the beginner skills that you really, really want to invest in. Now, and they're all going to be here in the Survivalism tab right here. Now the first skill that you want to invest in is called the basics. The basics will give you your hatchet, stone pick, torch, campfire, clothing, and simple bed. This is very important if you want to cook food and if you want to mine material, which both of those things is you're going to have to do very early on in the game. Next, you're going to want to invest in the tools of trade. This skill, these two skills, both the basics and the tools of trade are probably the first two skills you're going to invest in anyways no matter what but the tool to trade will give you the spear which will allow you to easier or easily kill creatures in order to obtain your meat and also defend yourself if you have to if there's any hostiles on the island now next you're going to have to invest in archery the reason why i say you need to invest in archery is because you're going to need what's inside archery which is the bow and arrow if you, if you go over five tabs you're going to find archery and this you want to invest in the basics of the bow now, i'm not counting then counting this as one of the basic skill points because you're always going to have more than one point to put into these skills and i'm mostly just focusing on the survivalism right now so the basic bow will allow you to kill enemies at a range it will allow you to hunt food at a range and everything is better done at a certain range. You don't want to be up and close and personal with all these creatures because they will kick your butt really, very fast. Now the fourth skill that you want to put your stuff into is constructions. And the reason why you, you want to put your skill into construction is because then you'll be able to build your bases, your houses, your huts, all that good stuff. Your fifth skill you're going to want to put into advanced tools. And the reason why you want to put into advanced tools is because that stone hatchet and that stone pickaxe that you have is going to be very outdated very, very fast. And the uh, advanced tools will give you smithy, shovel, fishing rod, scissors, spyglass, lantern, metal pick, metal hatchet, metal sickle, and climbing pick. The three things that you're really looking for are the metal pick, metal hatchet, and metal sickle. These things will allow you to gather things, anything, a lot quicker and more efficiently which you could take what you gathered here in the advanced tools and bring it over to your construction building your huts and all kinds of junk so these are the five basic skills in the survivalism tab that you need to be looking for and hitting right when you get into the game now there is another tab that the game is probably going to push you towards after construction once you get your construction you're going to go over to constructions, and you're obviously going to get your basics of building. But they're going to try to push you towards seamanship, which is down right here. And the reason why I would not spec into that in the beginning of the game, which they'll probably try to force you to spec into that right in the tutorial of the game, is because there is most likely always going to be someone on the island that's going to give you a ride to another island. I've, I've never, that's never failed never failed every time you spawn with a new character or spawn into a free port you're always going to have someone that's going to give you a ride so that's the reason why i would not spec into seamanship unless you really 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 want to try out the raft system in the beginning but you could always do that later when you find an island when you get into when you get into a crew you establish a base so when you go loot stuff out in sea you can always bring it back to your base and bunker it down with all that with all that said 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that this helped you a lot, especially for all you newcomers in this game. This game is very hard, but it is really, really fun, especially when you're playing with a team and a crew. If you guys would, go ahead and hit that like button because it will show me that you guys want to see more videos and more tutorial videos by me that I do plan to be making anyway, but it would be nice if you showed your support. Other than that, I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I hope you guys are enjoying your new year. And I'm out.